show you quick. Kind of a cool little boat launch right here. We'll run on down here. Oh, it's beautiful down here too. Ooh. Very nice. Very nice. Here we are folks, here it is, as we're coming up on it, oh, check it out. Is this not too cool? We're going to take the old bike and park her here quick for a moment. And kind of give you a quick overview of this area. Since this is what we're out here to see. Oh yeah, we want to make sure our bike doesn't fall over. There we go. All right, here we go. There's a parking area up top there. As you can see, a stairwell there. That comes on. You park up top. Come on down and launch your boat from right here. And here it is. The boat launch. <laughs> I like coming out here and throwing my pole in once in a while. You can catch some sunfish out here northern floating around in the early spring. But there it is. Some backwaters of the Mississippi. This isn't really the Mississippi itself, just some backwaters. But as you can see, like the rest of the Mississippi, this is awesome. Awesome, folks. Oh, yeah. Well, more to see. We gotta keep this ride a rolling, don't we? So I'm gonna walk you on back. I'll turn around for one more quick look for a moment. Just before we leave, I think, oh, I think this is a gorgeous shot right here. I'll give you this shot right here real quick. One last view of this area. Oh yeah, it is gorgeous, Whew. that is, I just don't have words for what that is, that's just awesome, yes it is folks, some of the prettiest territory that you'll see here in the country if you ask me. All right, there you go. There you go. A beautiful look. Now, there's the old beast. Let's hop on and continue our ride. Oh, yeah. Ah. Here we go. Ah, ah yeah. This is awesome, is it not? It is, here we are, rolling along, having a good time. Right up the hill we go. Look at that view though, folks. Through the trees, it is gorgeous, for sure. Yeah. back this way.
folks will like a lot. It's not going to be a fast ride because we're going to be taking some travel here. All right, here we go. This is going to be awesome through here. It is pretty. We're going to show you some nice tree land like this. All the way out to some farmland. It's going to be an interesting ride, young people. So. out here. Look at all of this. People have made their homes out here. out here. They just go out into the woods until they don't go out into the woods no more. A lot of this pine you're seeing out been planted here years ago. That's why you see it all in a nice row like this. You don't have to worry about traffic out here too much. This area is just wonderful if you ask me. nothing on this nice motorized bicycle. I love these things. I would recommend most people get them. Of course for these uh, gas powered motors you do have to be a little more advanced in your building capabilities. Unlike the electric ones, you don't need to be so advanced everybody's great. Put the wheel hub on and hook up your power supplies. And you're on the road after you charge it up. These gas powered ones, though, the advantage of them is rain. The best those electric ones can do for the most part is 25 to 30 miles on the normal 250 watt to 1000 watt units, depending on battery size, of course. can't put astronomical amount of batteries on your bike, as many as you can hold to get more time out of it, more miles, but you don't really increase it. If you double the weight of the bike by putting double the batteries, you only get about maybe 25% or maybe 40% maximum more range because you're adding so much more weight to the bike. With these gas-powered ones, they're highly modifiable, especially the two-strokes. Four-strokes are not as modifiable, but the four-strokes are definitely more reliable, I guess you can say. Less maintenance, a 
myself. I love the two-stroke. 